Hey food fanatics, Dale here from Press to Cook where we're all about making your kitchen life easier and way more fun. Today we're diving into something a bit different but super important, troubleshooting your Viking dishwasher. I know, I know, dishwashers aren't exactly the sexiest kitchen appliance, but trust me, when they go on the fritz, they can seriously mess up your flow. So let's roll up our sleeves and get this baby running smoothly again. Before we dig in, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe. You'll get all the latest tips, tricks and delicious recipes straight to your feed. Ready? Let's go. All right, first things first, let's talk about the most common issues and their quick fixes. If your dishwasher isn't starting, it could be something as simple as a power issue. Make sure it's plugged in and check the circuit breaker. Sometimes the issue is as straightforward as flipping a switch. If that doesn't work, check the door latch. If the door isn't closing properly, the dishwasher won't start. Make sure there's nothing obstructing the door and that the latch is engaging fully. Now, if your dishwasher is starting but not filling with water, you might have a water supply problem. Check the water inlet valve to make sure it's open and not clogged. Sometimes debris can get stuck in the valve, preventing water from flowing into the machine. If the valve looks clean, the issue could be with the float switch, which is responsible for detecting the water level inside the dishwasher. Give it a gentle nudge to make sure it's moving freely. Next up, let's talk about draining issues. If your Viking dishwasher isn't draining properly, the problem could be with the drain hose. Check to see if it's kinked or blocked. You'd be surprised how often a simple hose adjustment can solve the problem. If the hose looks fine, the issue might be with the drain pump. Listen for any unusual noises coming from the pump area. A humming sound could indicate that the pump is trying to work but is obstructed by debris. Speaking of noises, if your dishwasher is making strange sounds during the cycle, it could be due to a variety of reasons. Loose utensils can rattle around and make a lot of noise, so make sure everything is properly secured in the racks. If the noise sounds more mechanical, it could be an issue with the motor or pump. In that case, it might be time to call in a professional. Another common issue is poor cleaning performance. If your dishes are coming out dirty, it could be due to a clogged spray arm. Remove the spray arm and check for any blockages. Sometimes food particles can get stuck in the holes, preventing water from spraying effectively. Also, make sure you're using the right detergent and that the detergent dispenser is working properly. Old or expired detergent can lose its effectiveness, so it might be time to switch to a fresh bottle. Now let's talk about leaks. If you notice water pooling around your dishwasher, check the door gasket for any signs of wear and tear. Over time, the gasket can become brittle and cracked, allowing water to escape. Replacing the gasket is usually a quick and easy fix. Also make sure the dishwasher is level. An uneven dishwasher can cause water to spill out during the cycle. And there you have it, folks. A quick rundown of common Viking dishwasher issues and their solutions. Remember, regular maintenance can go a long way in preventing these problems from occurring in the first place. Clean the filter regularly, remove any food debris and run an empty cycle with a cup of vinegar to keep everything fresh and clean. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Press to Cook for more awesome kitchen tips. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a specific appliance you'd like us to troubleshoot next. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy cooking.